I'm gonna get some wine. Oh my god! You broke into my house. Quit looking at my cleavage. Well, hello. Thank you for hopping in back onto this little channel. It's been months. Months. I gotta keep it a little quiet. It's 2 a.m. But I pay rent. Before I get into this video, I wanna say a, a quick thank you to everybody who stuck around in my absence and everybody who's brand new from one of my shorts. This is probably content you're probably not used to. We're gonna go on an adventure. So I wanna say thank you to everybody who's brand new or uh, continuing to watch. It means a lot to me. Uh, let's get into this video. What happened? Where, where have I been? Uh, is, am I alive? Kind of not really. I've been having some issues, problems. This is so awkward. I feel like I'm talking to an ex. I have been so uninspired, so unmotivated. I don't know what to, like, I really don't know what to do. It's been really hard having those feelings, but at the same time, it's also hard seeing your hard work reflect that, if that makes sense. This is the longest I've been uncreative. I didn't know how to, I don't know how to get out of it. So yeah, where have I been? What have I been doing? Um, not much. Just being sad on the couch, watching movies, a lot of horror movies, just making me even sadder. It's just... I'm doing okay. I'm physically fine. <laughs> kind of. I gained a lot of weight, too. Let's not talk about it. All in all, I was just having doubts. Which everybody does. Everybody has doubts. Starting a new job, doing something forever, and just not knowing what to do next. Everybody has that. It's just hard not knowing how to overcome that. Living life. I feel like I have not been in the moment in a long time. Does that make sense? I have not been in the moment. I would even say this past year. I feel like I'm not present in life. Anyways, I could ramble all day. And if you saw my video from a long time ago, I touched on a lot of these topics, but it's happening again. Our block sucks. Our block? No, thank you. Off my plate. You thought you ate? I disavow you. I de-bequeath. <laughs> Is that a word? De-bequeath? I bequeath. I bestowed? Is de-bequeathed? It is not a word. What the f so without me rambling too much, I want to touch on another topic. Back in 2019, I was having these same feelings. I was in the same spot. I felt stuck. I was in a career that I felt like I wasn't really loving. So I decided to go to New York and try and get that inspiration again. And I did it again. I went, me, yo, I went to New York to cure my art block. I went to New York to cure my art block. I went to New York to cure my art block. <laughs> Y'all see this ambulant lighting back here? I saw a video on ambulant lighting. So I'm like, I'm gonna try the ambulant lighting. It's giving me a vibe. So as I said, back in 2019, I went to New York to cure my then art block. I was having the time of my life. Oh, it was so much fun. Oh my gosh. First time seeing a Basquiat, I was freaking out. Just imagine some music. Unce, 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 unce. Ooh, unce, unce. Which was a little different. I was just super busy. I had all these ideas for art. I just didn't have the motivation because I didn't have a lot of time. Now I have all the time in the world. I can't make anything. So I went to New York to cure my art block. Sorry, I'm gonna dance again. Did it work? Well, I guess we'll see. This is a little montage of me in New York. Me and my friend Alexis ended up going on this trip together. It was a really fun time. We went back in 2019 together too. We had a blast. It was a little difficult this time around because the weather wasn't always on our side. My main goal going to New York this time was to get motivation and creativity and inspiration again. I wanted to make art. I wanted to make something that I would be proud of. Every video I make, I want to be proud of it. Every art piece I make, I want to be proud of it. Our first night in New York, we went out to a little bar, had a little drink drink. All right, do you want to give or receive clues? <laughs> I'm trying not to judge, but it looks like you're receiving something. <laughs> Look at this rat itching its booty. I was freaking out, it's so cute, and then he smells it. Pictures, pictures. I might have had one too many drinks, but I thought this was really pretty. On our second day, we went to the Met. That sucks. Dude, we had to walk in the rain for like 10 minutes. We were soaked the whole time we were at the Met, but I was doing Disney knees for Picasso very much. Cheese and bastard. On our third day, we went to the MoMA. Living for this outfit. Living. All goodwill. 100%. Oh. Giving them a show. Ooh. Ooh. Damn. 
Before I move on, I want to tell you this crazy story. So for the first time going to the MoMA uh, back in 2019, I of course had to take a picture with this Van Gogh. There was a little line, so I was waiting a little bit. Uh, once I take this picture with this Van Gogh, I take another close-up picture, and then I leave, and as I'm leaving, this man approaches me. He's like, are you Anthony? I was like, no, and I walked away. It turns out this dude and I followed each other on Instagram for years. He just confused my name with somebody else. I thought it was hilarious. What are the odds? What are the odds? He DM'd me later. So we ended up chuckling over it and we ended up doing an art swap. So go follow him. He's amazing. What did we do on the fourth day? Get the shoes. Like the way they like just make the calves look good. And I think we just went shopping and we went out to eat. And then our fifth day we left. I had a great time. But when I came back, that's what I noticed. Maybe I didn't get the motivation I wanted. Uh, it didn't help in the way that I hoped. If that makes sense. As much fun as it was, it didn't give me that. I can't explain it. I can't explain it. I am now gonna draw something while I talk to y'all. But it did help in a different way. I guess it helped me realize that I'm not alone. Living in the Midwest, there's not much to do. Even in normal times, there's not much to do. So you don't really see a lot of people. I work from home. I don't see people. There could be a full week without me seeing one person. And you know what? Some people thrive on that. Some people just don't like people. I am a social butterfly. In my mind, I think I am. It is really hard not seeing people and talking to people and seeing like a lively environment. But when I went to New York, I just felt alive, present. I felt present for the first time in a long time. And I think in that way, it helped a lot. Now, did it help my art block? Did it cure my art block? No, not a, not in the slightest. It didn't, um, nope, it did not. But when I came back, I did try. And that's the least I could do, is try. Get back into it as, as I know best and just jumping into things. And a lot of things failed. A lot of the paintings that I tried to do failed and uh, it, kinda, it kinda sucked. I feel like I'm reverting. Does that make, what, revert? Going back, I'm not go, getting any better. I'm not going further in my craft, but that's okay. It was just disheartening, you know what I mean? So after I came back, a couple weeks go by, um, I still have not made a video. I was expecting to make like this New York vlog thing, and I thought it was gonna be super fun, and uh, here it is. I mean, this is, a, this is not really a vlog, but I couldn't make one for some reason. It just didn't feel right. I have a lot of anxiety now. Even more anxiety in front of a camera now, because it's been so long, until now. Um, even with a little help. So recently, within the last month or so, I have been thinking a lot. I've been watching a lot of like different artists on YouTube, just seeing what they're doing. I just watch a lot of videos that are similar to mine where, you know, they'll make projects. It's more of like a project and less of like them testing things out or customizing things. It's more of like a, like I have a project for myself and I just want to see if I can make it. One of my favorite art YouTubers, my favorite, is Joanna Cydia. I don't know where she is right now. Sweetie, I miss you. Can you, you come back when you can? I hope the, all the best to you. But that's kind of the art content I like, that I like to watch. But there is a different side of art YouTube that I had no idea of that is more of like, just different, just very different. It's, it's massive, it is massive. I don't know how I didn't know about this other side of YouTube. It's amazing, don't get me wrong, but it's nothing that I could make. After watching some of the videos on that big art side of YouTube, I was so, I was so sad because after watching those videos and then looking at mine, I'm just like, what am I doing? Is there a future for videos like mine? And as much as I love making videos and doing all this fun stuff, part of me is like, you're taking so much time doing this, but not enough time doing other things. I don't have a team or anything. I like to do things solo, but it, that takes a lot of time. And I get sucked up in you know editing videos and stuff that I forget about the actual art and it sucks. But like I said, it made me sad for the future of the kind of videos I make because it isn't the big, big videos that a lot of other artists on YouTube make. And that, and that's okay. And don't get me wrong, I love all kinds of art videos, but like the ones that the Al Gore-ism likes is not my videos. My videos are a little too niche for the Al Gore. Like I'm scared to say that word because I feel like no one's gonna be able to see this video. Like it takes me so long to try and make a thumbnail, let alone edit a video, I really don't blame anybody but myself because I don't really know. I guess I'm out of touch with the art YouTube world. Like I'm so out of touch. I am rambling again, I don't know what I'm talking about. I will say if y'all see me start making clickbait titles, just know 
I'm just trying to be seen, okay? Like, I just want to be seen from the algorithm. I just want my videos to be watched. I want to inspire people. And it's absolutely mind-boggling that I could upload a short, a YouTube short, and have it get millions of views. And I upload a real video, and it can't even get over, like, 10, 10,000 views. What? I am grateful, nonetheless, because you know what? People are seeing it. People are getting inspired by my artwork. However, when I spend 10 minutes editing a one-minute clip versus... 10 hours on a YouTube video? A 10 minute YouTube video? What? <laughs> no. Damn. It's really disheartening. With all that being said, I failed to realize one thing. How lucky I am. How lucky I was to be at this point in time to have my videos being seen. I really can't even explain it. It was just one day on TikTok. Everything just goes up from there. It was amazing. And sadly, part of that motivation is hooked with how good a video does or how good an art piece performs or whatever. That's not how it's supposed to be. I should be making art for the sake of art, which I always do because I love most of my art pieces. But like I said, I'm so lucky and I've taken all that luck that I've received recently and taken it for granted. I, I keep on forgetting how lucky I am. But I also got to realize it's okay to feel my feelings. You know what I mean? It's okay to feel my feelings because I'm not good at that. This is gonna sound so bad, but you can't always think of a half glass full. Half glass full? You can't always think like a glass is half full. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's okay to feel like your half glass is empty. Glass is half empty. It's okay to feel that your glass is half empty. Doesn't mean it's true, but it's okay to feel that. You know what I mean? And I've come to the realization that it's okay to feel that. It is okay to feel that your glass is half empty. You know what I mean? I gotta admit, I forgot about that. So that's why I also feel like I've taken these last few months to realize like it's okay to feel these feelings. So after all this mess that I'm talking about, so no promises, I'm ready to dive my toes back into my own art. You know what I mean? I'm ready to really just, I wanna get, I wanna go back into this fearless, like a fearless cat. I was really doing this. I think I got too worried about numbers. I got too worried about the views. I got too worried about what people think I make, what people want me to make. And again, I want to say a thank you, a huge thank you to everybody who's stick around, who's brand new, everybody who's just here to go on this little adventure with me because I am a little crazy. But that's okay. It's okay to feel your feelings. But yeah, I'm still here. I'm not going anywhere. I did go. I'm going to always make art. I'd at least try my best. I hope you guys enjoy this drawing that I'm doing. Probably looks like trash. Here it is. The final. Well, almost. Come on. Here it is, the final piece. Uh, the middle guy right there in the in the middle, up up top row. That's my favorite face of them all. All of them look a little different. Um, some more detailed than others. Uh, that was kind of on purpose, accident. I just was lazy. I don't think I understand. I didn't pick up an oil pastel for two months. Two months. Damn. And if you're brand new, apologies. This is probably a video that you're not gonna like that much, but. I appreciate you watching even two seconds of it. And as always, if you have any questions, concerns, please let me know down below. If you have any suggestions, please also let me know down below because obviously the algorithm don't like what I make. Let me know if you have any ideas for me because I brain is head open, wide open. And a special thank you and a choke grab for everybody that has stuck around from this point. So I appreciate that. Okay, bye.